Hello friends, my name is Jess. Welcome to Books Fast Bedtime. So this is going to be my week one Disney Channel Games reading vlog. Today is actually Tuesday because I'm a mess. So Tuesday is the final day of the first challenge, which is Alphabet Goop. And Alphabet Goop is based on the Disney Channel Games event where contestants literally had a vat of goop and they had to dig through it for letters to spell a word or something like that. <laughs> but the challenge for our readathon is to spin a random letter generator. Whatever letter you get, you read a book that starts with that letter. So when I spun my little letter generator the other day, I did get an E, so I chose to read A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. Um, a Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger follows this girl named A Lats Away who has the ability to summon ghosts, but the thing is, in this world, only animal ghosts can be summoned. Human ghosts usually bring a lot of negative energy and are usually very angry, so you don't really summon human ghosts. Um, but then also her uncle dies mysteriously. He comes to A Lats Away in a dream and is like, tells her that he was murdered, so she vows to find out who murdered him and why and to get vengeance for him. Um, this is definitely a middle grade story. It's written honestly pretty young. I am not liking it as much as I wanted to. I just really expected it to be a little bit different. I kind of expected it to be more like magical realism or like whimsical kind of writing, but instead it's like um, everybody in this world knows magic exists and there's like vampires and stuff walking around, which is actually like something that I don't like in a fantasy. Like I would much prefer magic to either be secret or for the fantasy to be set in a different world altogether. I don't like when they're living in America and <laughs> vampires are walking around when and everybody knows vampires are walking around. I don't know, it's just like a weird niche thing that I'm not a fan of. So I haven't liked that that much. And Alatsway's voice is just really young. Like in the story, she's 16, but she reads more like she's like 10 to 12 in my opinion. So I think that's a little weird and a little dissonant, but I am enjoying it. Right now it's kind of like a three star read. Like there's nothing inherently bad about it aside from those two little complaints. I am enjoying it. I didn't realize it was like a murder mystery kind of story. So I am liking that aspect. So I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm like 66% of the way through. I've been listening to the audiobook. So so yeah, today, it's like midday right now. I had an interview this morning and a doctor's appointment. So I've been doing that kind of stuff, but I will go ahead and roll some B-roll and let you know what I've been up to the past couple days. I've been working, so I don't have a ton of B-roll, but I will just roll that now. So then, like I said in the intro, today is actually Tuesday. Um, I do have another interview later today. Fingers crossed that I will be offered a new job because I just quit mine. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely am gonna finish a lot away today. Um, I also would like to finish American Dirt by Janine Cummings, which I'm reading for a different video, but I am doing that. I need to take some books to grand pictures today. That's also on the agenda. And just like clean up my room and pull my shit away. So I might film a time lapse of that. So that'll be fun. And yeah, let's just get to it.
Well, so today is Wednesday. Yes, I'm very bad at vlogging. Um, it is Wednesday night. So last night I did manage to finish my book a lots away before the end of the alphabet group challenge. So I successfully completed my book and my activity. Um, as far as a lots away goes, I had pretty much the same thought as in my update earlier. Don't think this is a bad book by any means. I just don't think it was necessarily the book for me. I really liked that it was an ode to dog lovers. There was a main character, Kirby, in there. He was um, a lots away's dog. He was a ghost dog that she had summoned and he like protected her and was her friend and everything. There was just a theme of canine companions throughout the novel, which I really enjoyed. I loved that. I loved dogs, so that I really liked. Um, I really liked the inclusion of the indigenous culture and familial legends that were passed down throughout generations. I thought that was a cool aspect of the story. I really appreciated that. And I'm pretty sure it's indigenous own voices rep, so that's always awesome. I also, like I said, didn't know that this was like a mystery story, and so I really liked that aspect of it. Um, lots of I was trying to solve the murder of her cousin, um, so I definitely liked that aspect of it because I love thrillers and mysteries and that kind of thing. So, um, And then the things I didn't like, I talked about earlier, I just didn't really love the magic system. I never really like when magic systems are just in everyday America and people are know about them and are cool with it. I just, for some reason, I don't vibe with that kind of trope and that kind of setting, so I didn't like that. And then another thing that I wasn't a huge fan of is I just thought it was written pretty young. I knew this was a middle grade going in, but um, our main character, Latsway, is actually 16, but her voice was more like she was 11 to 13, and so I didn't really like that distance and was a little bit confused by that. So overall, this book just had a couple things that I didn't personally vibe with. I don't think it's bad by any means, um, but I am going to rate it a 2.5 for my own personal enjoyment because that's rating scale that I use. Um, so that's what that book got. I really wanted to like this one a lot. It just wasn't quite there for me. And then for my activity, I did end up creating a playlist just because I've been really into my like Spotify wrapped and listening to music recently. So I decided to go for that version of the Alphabet Goop Challenge. And so I spelled out Blue Team Supremacy with my playlist. Um, a lot of good songs on there. Go check it out. I tried to include like one from all of my favorite artists. So that was really fun too. Kind of made it a little bit more challenging because I wanted it to be all songs that I like actually listen to and love. So um, that's that. I'll link it down below if you want to listen to it for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, so today is Wednesday, which means it is the second day. No, which means it is the first day of the second challenge. And the second challenge is Simon Says. And so we interpreted that as a reading challenge to be to read a book that's been recommended to you or that was recommended by one of the hosts. And I did both of those things in one book. So my friends, Kirsten and Haley, who are both hosts of the readathon, both love and recommend one by one and they have both loved and recommended one by one directly to me so this I felt like was the perfect book to read for this and I've already started it I am currently on page 78 my goal is to get to at least 124 by the end of tonight it's only 7 30 so I have the whole evening left because 124 is like a third of the way through hopefully I'll get more but we will see I think I'm going to spend the rest of my evening reading this and um need to clear out my watch later I have like 25 videos to watch that have all been posted in like the last two days so I really just want to keep ahead of that before it gets way too out of control and all my blue team gals are pumping out the reading vlogs for the Disney Channel games I'm so proud of them so happy so definitely want to make sure I watch all of those but anyway one by one is a like mystery thriller it's following this tech startup company who all go on this retreat to this chalet in the Swiss Alps to go skiing and all that stuff and then there's like a lot of tension in the group there's like some members want to um, sell the company and strike a buyout deal and others want to keep the company so there's this like weird tension between a lot of the members and then I think they're going to get trapped in the chalet by an avalanche and I think the tensions are just gonna ratchet up even higher uh, and I think people People end up dying. So this book has mixed reviews, but Haley and Kirsten both were obsessed with it and gave it five stars. So I have high hopes, although Caroline didn't like it. So that's where we're at with that one. My goal is honestly to get halfway through this if I can. But I also might start the Battle of the Labyrinth um, because our live show for this for the Percy Jackson read along is on Sunday. So I need to get this read as well. And it's not on my official TBR, but this is a reading vlog. So I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. <laughs> and yeah, that is my plan. So let's get to it.
hello another day that I don't feel like putting on makeup okay anyway today is Thursday is today Thursday I think it's Thursday which means it is the second day of the Simon Says Challenge um it is like midday I have already read my pages of one by one by Ruth Ware for today so hopefully I'm going to get even more of this done today it might be maybe even finish it tonight that would be awesome I am doing reading sprints with some of my friends over on my dear friend Haley's channel so maybe I'll even finish it tonight that's kind of the goal in the back of my head but if not I am over 66% of the way through so I I'm on track to finish this in time for the Simon Says Challenge. I really am liking this so far. This definitely has gotten mixed reviews, but I'm really enjoying it. I don't really have any guesses for who the killer is. Um, I think maybe some people might be in boots. I really don't know, honestly. Um, so that's really all I ask for in a thriller is to be confused. They definitely are kind of making you think that it's one person, but honestly, there's like five different people that have motives. So really enjoying this one so far. Having a great time. As far as my challenge for Simon Says, goes I was really like not having any inspiration the challenge is to recreate something bookish like to recreate a bookstagram post a book cover do like a book look a book makeup look something like that and I just was not finding anything that I wanted to do so I but then Miss Taylor Swift Queen Taylor Swift has announced that her ninth studio album is coming out tonight and I'm like what Oh my god, freaking out. I was having heart palpitations this morning when I saw it. And I really want nothing more in life than to recreate her new album cover. Um, and I know that's not like technically something bookish, but it is recreating something. And also I was thinking about it. Miss Taylor Swift is the best storyteller of our generation. So I think in a roundabout way it counts. Plus I'm a host, I make the rules, so. <laughs> I say it counts because that's all I want to do in life right now. So that is the plan. I think I'm going to do it probably tomorrow, but I will try and remember to film that because I'm so bad at filming things. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. I think next I'm going to wrap some Christmas presents and I'm probably going to listen to the audiobook of The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. This is for a different video, but just it's reading, so I'm letting you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, but I will do that, play some fun Christmas music. Um, I also noticed that there's a lot of geese in the yard outside and my dog Elvis really likes to chase the geese. So I might go and let him out and <laughs> you can see him do that. He did it this morning and I was so bummed because I didn't film it. I was like, that would be such great vlog footage. Like, <laughs> so stupid, but so let's go do that, honestly. Elvis, do you wanna go get the geese? Hmm? They're in the yard again. Come on, let's go. They're out there, let's go get them. Hello, today is the final day of the Simon Says Challenge. It is Friday and I think I'm going to end my vlog here and didn't do the next three challenges in the next vlog. So I'm just going to wrap things up really quick. So last night I did finish One by One by Ruth Ware and I actually really loved it. I thought it was really good. I'm not really sure why people don't like it. I honestly can't say one bad thing about it. Like I didn't dislike anything. I thought it was fast paced. I thought it kept me on my toes. I thought um, it was very realistic and like interesting how it happened. Very 
believable. Didn't have like some kind of huge left field twist at the end, but I liked that everything made sense throughout and you could kind of connect the dots and go back once the reveal did happen. Um, I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna give it 4.5 just for the reason that five star books for me need to be a little bit more developed. This was more just a really fun, fast paced read, um, but I did really enjoy it. I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. And then for my recreation challenge, like I said, I was going to recreate Taylor Swift's Evermore album cover and I did so. I think it turned out pretty well. I'm very happy with it and very excited that I got to do a little Taylor Swift action in this readathon. <laughs> so that is super fun. Um, Blue Team is currently in second place. So that is just one spot away from first place. I'm confident that we can get there. I'm going to keep reading my books and doing my challenges. Tonight there is a reading sprint hosted by the Red Team. So I'm going to show up to that and get some points. Um, I'm also going to go celebrate my friend's birthday tonight and Christmas. So I might film some b-roll before I close out this vlog. And yeah, that's the plan for today. Oh, also, I don't know if anybody cares, but I did recently quit my job. My last day was actually on Monday. Um, it was very sad. I really loved being a flight attendant, but it's just not a very good time to be a flight attendant right now. And it was very stressful, really like negatively affecting my mental health. So I did go ahead and quit before I officially had a new job, which was really scary, but I just couldn't handle it anymore. I was like having panic attacks and anxiety, like nobody's business. So I just went ahead and quit, but I did have interviews on Tuesday like I talked about earlier in the vlog and today I accepted an offer for that job. So I'm very excited. I was only unemployed for four days. Honestly, I'm really excited about this job. I think it's going to be a good fit um, and it doesn't start till the 1st of January. So I have the rest of December off, which is like best case scenario. So I can like enjoy the holidays and relax. And yeah, I'm very excited. So that's what's happening in my life. Um, I'm going to go film some more b-roll so I might wrap up this vlog later tonight. But yeah, so talk to you soon. The way I acted like I was going to vlog more is honestly just hilarious, so I'm going to just go ahead and sign off this vlog. Um, so thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the first two challenges of the Disney Channel games. Um, next week I will release my part two of this, so look out for that. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. All relevant links will be in the description down below, including all information about the readathon if you're looking for anything in particular. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to keep up with me on the day today. Um, I also recently made a book Twitter if you want to follow me over there. So I think that's going to be it for today. Thank Thank you again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on that bell notification, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!